everyone, welcome to another Check This Out video. I wanted to show you something I've been working on in my free time with the Qbot 2e and Python. One of our big projects recently has had to do with exposing first year students to advanced engineering topics in a hands-on way to give them some motivation through first and second year where most of the courses are fairly theoretical. So I wanted to see if I could get the Qbot to track an object using only color and using math that a first year student would be able to follow, modify, and really have some fun with. So let's check this out. So here I am in my home office and uh, I've modified the Qbot slightly by pointing the camera upwards so that it can see me and follow me uh, in a confined space. Now we've got three variables that, stu that students will be able to modify. The hue center tells the robot what color to look for. Uh, so we're going to set it to zero, which is red. And hue width tells us how much variation in the color we're going to allow. Now I'm looking for red and the red of my shirt is uh, a plaid pattern, so it's actually surprisingly difficult for uh, a blob detection to find, because it's a whole bunch of small red squares, not one big solid blob that you'd be able to search for. And at the same time, there's lots of stuff in the room that's going to create noise in the background uh, that makes it hard to pick me out as a single object. So rather than trying to do that, what I've done is set up a mathematical algorithm that just looks at the average location of all of the white pixels in the binary image um, and then picks that center location as the target. Now it won't work every time, but it's actually a surprisingly robust algorithm. Um, and the math behind it is based on high school mathematics that students would have no problem understanding. And the cool thing is, now I add a proportional control. Here I'm increasing the speed the robot can move. And all I've done is told the robot to try to keep the target in the center of its field of view. The result is that as I move, the, cam the robot will move to keep me in the center of the image. So as I stand up or crouch, it'll move back in order to keep me centered in the frame. And as I move around the room, it'll keep looking at me. So I can keep talking to the robot as I walk about, and it should keep me nicely centered in the frame. So this kind of behavior, the kind of following an object, keeping it in the center of a camera, is actually a really complex problem to solve. But here we've implemented it in Python with basic image processing and basic math in a way that first year students would have no problem picking up and having some really uh, interesting experiences with. Oh, you can't turn, you can't, you gotta stay in front of it so it can see you. Oh, there you go. It's following you.